So at last I meet the great J. Wentworth Pigglesweight. Well, it's an honor, sir, to meet E. Stuart Mills. Please call me Stuart. Oh, I certainly will, Stuart. in you coming to work for us at We Fuck Him and How because of your experience defending Mormon cult polygamist Warren Jeffs. Now at noon, a surprise development in the trial of polygamist religious leader Warren Jeffs. Opening arguments were supposed to start this morning in his sexual assault trial in San Angelo, but instead Jeffs stood up in court and dismissed his team of attorneys. He spoke for about 30 minutes in an eerie monotone voice with long pauses while staring at the judge. Not successfully. No, you, that was a tragedy, wasn't it? You did one hell of a job. Well, I thank you. You know, one of the problems uh, we have here at We Fuck Him and How, we have only one client. You know who our client is, don't you? The Church of Scientology. Correct. And sometimes the media, culture, they accuse our client of being a cult. What would you have to say if you said, you're working for a damned cult, sir? Well, one man's cult is another man's religion. I like that. Another thing about our client you should know, they run a religious prison system called RPF. How would you defend a religious prison system? Well, first of all, it's not a prison system. Mm -hmm. It's an internal method of imposing order and discipline. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing to make clear. Second, the Constitution has a clear wall between church and state, and it's none of the government's business to tell our client how they should run their religion. After all, I don't see Mr. Miscavige telling the Bureau of Prisons how to run their facilities. I like the cut of your jib, Mr. Another question for you. Let's say that the client was moving a billion dollars offshore, and it was a little bit may be irregular to the taxing authorities. Are you comfortable managing tax attorneys? Especially when we have a 5013C in place, and I can't wait to work with that famous litigator from Washington, D.C., Ms. Monique Dingling. It's Yingling. Monique yeah, Yingling. That too. Yes, well, <clears throat> you'll get to meet uh, Ms. Yingling in due time if you come aboard. So this business of uh, religious freedom. That's really what we want to focus on with the client. Of course. However, here within the firm, and the clients never know this, we are born to bill. We're all about billable hours. In fact, here at We Fuck Men How, we look at a closed file as an unbillable file. In the words of those famous winemakers from California, we shall close no file before it's time. So you have the will to build. Well, let's put it this way. Uh, a well-prepared file is a well-litigated file. I like that. And that goes to my client's points. We want to file every possible procedure so that things are properly litigated. We like cases generally that last about 20 years. Oh, well, uh, listen, as far as motion practice is concerned, we can file so many motions, we'll get motion sickness. <laughs> I'm sure that Ms. Ringading would like that too. It's Yingling, but yes, yeah. she likes that. Now you may come upon, uh, assuming you come aboard and I like you, I like you a lot, I think you'll fit in just splendidly. You may be asked to do things, I may call you at 2 in the morning and put you on a private jet to Texas or Florida, Georgia, California, Nevada, New York, France. Uh, Mr. Miscavige, the leader of the Scientology religion, is very dramatic. Sometimes he yells at you a lot. How are you with the client screaming and yelling and maybe breaking furniture and throwing things and threatening you? Are you okay around explosive clients? At a thousand dollars an hour, yeah. he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> we see eye to eye on that. Yes, indeed. Have you done any background research on Mr. Miscavige? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, one person's wackadoodle is the same as another. Well said.
Tell me about some of your experiences defending Warren Jeffs and how they're germane to the Church of Scientology. It's now about the eighth time he has dismissed the attorneys since December. Prosecutors think it's just a delay tactic. Jeff said that now he's representing himself. Remember, his followers believe Jeff is a prophet, a vessel in which he communicates with God. Well, Mr. Jeffs had his own unique interpretation of religion, and uh, of course, that was his defense in uh, having a stable of uh, young girls uh, at his every beck and call. Yes. So, uh, we of course focused on his uh, First Amendment rights uh, to religious expression and the reasonable uh, carrying out thereof, and of course, uh, the jury didn't agree with us, but well, we hope to never take cases to juries. Here's what I'm really up against where I could use your expertise in Texas. The client, Mr. Miscavige, is this close to being deposed in a civil case. How, that's, that's the unpardonable sin here at We Fuck Him and How. We cannot have Mr. Mas, Mr. Miscavige deposed in any legal proceeding. What can we do to stop him from being deposed? You could put him out of the country. Hmm, tell me about this. Well, if he's not in the jurisdiction of the court, then it's very hard to compel him to appear to testify. So you would uh, suggest a, a long vacation? Yes, preferably in a country with no extradition treaty. Hmm. Well, you know, the client uh, does have a steaming ship that sails around uh, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. But the ship could really be taken out into the middle of the ocean to sort of, you know, steam around in circles. The trade winds or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. The vessel is very accommodating to the client. Welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to working. We look forward to you getting started and building right away. In fact, I'll take you to lunch right afterwards. We should get to building, don't you agree? Oh, it's my favorite activity. Good, we'll hit the ground running. Excellent. If you, do, if you don't stop harassing these people, uh, immediately and stay 100 yards away, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you tomorrow. Uh, do you understand that? This, you, this you is Maxim what, Magazine. Did you understand what I said? Yes. Are you going to do it or are you going to make me file a lawsuit? You know what? The police said that we could do this. Do you understand what I said? Yes. Are you going to do it? Did you understand that a bunch of people already know we're doing this and they're already gathering bail for me? <laughs> so why don't we record this some more? You know, they're already... I want to know. Uh, don't touch the camera. Go ahead. Sue me. You refuse. You want me to out, prefer to be sued? We're not afraid of you. Okay? Anything you do is just going to make more attention.